Welcome to Mose Cybersecurity Institute's YouTube channel. My name is Benjamin Mose and I'm the founder of the Institute. This show, Cyber IQ, is there to help you raise your understanding of cyber threats and vulnerabilities and what you need to do to protect yourself online. In short, it's there to help you raise your cyber IQ. And the very first thing that I want to bring to your attention is what we call the attacker's pyramid of pain. Now, let me give you a bit of context here. The adversaries online are on the lookout to really attack and hack anything and anybody. When they steal personal information like your name, your date of birth, the number of your passport, if they can get a photocopy ID of yourself, if they can find your home address and so on and so forth, what they do is they reuse that information to impersonate you and then go to different banks and let's say get a loan under your name, get a credit card under your name. And then they spend all the money or they steal the money and then the bank calls you and you have to now prove that you were not the person who actually applied for this kind of financial loans. And the process to actually be able to recover from something like this takes three to six months. And it is, again, the victim's role to actually prove that they were victim of a crime. In other words, you are proven guilty until proven innocent. That's kind of the approach that they take. Now, the attackers, what they want to do is they want to find targets and victims that are the easiest one to go after. And so this is where I want to talk to you about the attacker's pyramid of pain. At the very bottom, the attack, from the attacker's perspective, you have the easy target. The easy target is somebody who uses passwords that are easily guessable. It's a person that's maybe easily manipulated online or over the phone. Maybe that person also uses an outdated computer and browser. But most importantly, it's a person that believes that they'll never be a target. If you believe that you're too smart, too good, or that you have no information worth protecting, and in short, you believe that you'll never be a target, then from the attacker's perspective, you actually are the best target. And so I really want to bring this to your attention because the number one fallacy that regular users and even IT managers or IT users fall into is to believe for a whole range of reasons that they're never going to be attacked. And so I've heard stories like, you know, Australia is a country very far away, uh, you know, from other countries, nobody's going to attack us. I've heard stories like, oh, I'm from South Africa, I'm used to seeing scams and so nobody can scam me. I mean, people have all sorts of reasons that they believe they'll never be a target and that is why it actually makes them the easiest target to go after if you're an attacker. Now, the level above that is the moderate level in this model. And this is a, a person that uses strong passwords. Maybe they keep their laptop or workstation up to date, but they still don't go the whole way. So they store maybe sensitive information in a way that's not encrypted. Maybe they reuse passwords across multiple online services. And, you know, if somebody was crafty enough by email or over the phone or in person, they could still be influenced, lied to, manipulated or social engineered. And at the highest level, what we call a hard target from the attacker's perspective would be somebody that uses a password manager, that encrypts all the sensitive data that they've got, that deletes data that they no longer need, they harden their workstation, and they've also undertaken formal training to detect and defeat social engineering. And so here's what I want you to consider. When you look at this chart, where do you think you fit in here? Are you an easy target? Are you a moderate target or are you a hard target? Answer that for yourself honestly. And really the goal here is for you to take small steps, incremental steps that are going to help you move up 
in the attacker's pyramid of pain so that you become a harder target to go after. So I hope that this model helps you understand now, you know, how cyber attackers make decisions about who they're going to target. And from your perspective, what you need to do to be able to raise your cyber IQ and become a target online that nobody wants to go after. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon on our channel.